That's a fish. That one hammered it. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Pull and drag. Oh yeah. Today I'm out here on Lake of the Ozarks going after some bass and crappie. I uh, got the boat out, as you guys can see, and we're gonna go see what we can get out here today. Um, conditions have been pretty good this week. They've been really warm, unseasonably warm. It's beginning of March, and we've been having basically every day the temperature's been over 70, and big tournaments this last weekend and uh, week have done really well. Um, so I'm expecting to get some good fishing in today. We'll go out there and see what we can find. There's a fish. Oh, she came off. It's a great sign though. First drop down on that tree. Chartreuse jig, crappie came up. There he is. Little guy. First one of the day right there. Not very big, gonna throw him back. There's a fish. Hey, there we go. White bass. Wow. Choked that thing. My goodness. Nice white bass. Because I am keeping fish here today, I'm going to make this guy dinner. So. Crappie. Little guy. But real pale colors. White crappie. See you, buddy. I've been able to find some smaller fish so far and that one white bass by surprise. We're going to be trying to go around and move through some different spots and find some bigger fish. This time of year, the bigger ones should be moving up too. Everything should be on the move with this water temperature getting ready to stage to spawn. I just got to find the right cover they're on. There he is. They're under the docks. Bigger crappie. Nice slab right there. Choke that thing. That's a good, that's a good fish for this lake right here. Look at the back on that thing. It's huge. Um, as soon as it hit that float, it fell and it was on. We're definitely going to keep this guy. Add him to the dinner collection. Hey, there's a crappie. Way up shallow. Oh, that might not be a crappie. That feels like a white bass. Yeah, it is. Two white bass today. I'll take it, not complaining there. Seems to get active. Nice fish. fish pull and drag good size oh nice crappie wow we found the bigger ones another big that's a really thick uh thick back black crappie right there it's gonna get some good flays off of that guy super nice fish There's a fish. Nice crappie. 
Nice crappie. Bigger ones seem to be related more towards the docks, points and stuff, channel breaks. Typical pre-spawn things. I've been struggling to find large concentrations of these fish. Just usually a couple at one spot. It's very bizarre. Here's a fish. Catching a couple here and there out of the docks. It's not a large concentration of them any one spot, but getting a couple. Some quality fish too. It's about another 10, 11 inch. Here's a fish. A little bass. Smaller than the first one I got. That's a fish. Stay on, bud. Sweet. Got a bass. I knew that was going to happen today at some point. Weather conditions are too good for it not to. Hammered that wiggle wart. Hook came right out. Okay. A little largemouth bass. I got him in a ton there. That's why he's bleeding. It's not his gill, so he'll be okay. But we'll get him back in the water, about a one pounder. See you, buddy. Might go try for some bass if this is the bite that picks up. Keep on that and forget about the crappie. The crappie seems so spread out right now. I can catch him when I get to a spot where there's a few, but there's not a high concentration of them anywhere I found. What you want to be doing this time of year when you're trying to locate some of these pre-spawning bass that are coming up, this is the main channel out here that I'm in. I'm in about 13 feet of water. And uh, there's a shelf that kind of comes up over here with this mixed rock. Kind of about softball sized rock over here, right off this bluff, sheer cliff, and there's a little bit of a shelf that sticks out. Those are going to be the areas they come up to looking for food as they make their move up. Uh, it's also right next to the mouth of that cove I was just in. So it's a good spot for those fish to stage up. Not directly on a point, but just a little shelf off the main channel. And I might not catch another one here, but I can probably go and repeat this pattern over and over again now that I know that they're moving up onto that. Wow. Found something right there. I don't know if it's shad or what that is, but they're stacked up like they're cropping. I might need to drop a jig down there real quick, see what that is. So that's all cropping. We found a school. Oh yeah, there's a giant tree down there. There's one. Yep, there's some crappie down there on that tree. Now it's the key is just getting them to bite. Because my graph showed me there's a ton down there. That's a fish. That one hammered it. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Pull and drag. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big bass. Big bass. Oh, he's underneath the boat. Oh my God, huge bass. Huge bass, huge bass. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Woo! Look at that. Yes. Oh, that thing is huge. We have to get a weight on this thing. It's probably a good six pounder there. Oh, oh. 
that was that's amazing getting away from the bank here for a second oh my goodness wow skin hooked on the outside of the mouth That's a hog right there. Look how thick that stomach is. My God, I'm gonna get a weight on this thing. 20 and a half inch. I don't have my scale with me, actually. It's actually a spotted bass. Look at the tongue patch on that. That's a massive spotted bass. 20 and a half inch spotted bass on Lake of the Ozarks with the wiggle wart. That's amazing. We're gonna get her back in the water here. I'm gonna talk about that fish here in a second, but that, I gotta get back in there real quick, make sure there's not another one sitting there. For those of you that don't know, my personal best on this lake is about a six pounder, so that one, pretty close to it. I don't have my scale, unfortunately, so I can't tell for sure. Still a very, very nice bass on Lake of the Ozarks. Just sitting over here off a of bluff end. Right where this rubble's at. You don't have to be up here on this specific bluff to get them. I mean, I, I could have went to any bluff today and probably done this. Just that time of year. They're on the move. And it helps that I got a storm coming in with cloud cover overhead. That sunlight's not keeping them tight to cover. They're out in roaming. Helps the crankbait bite out of a ton. All right, guys, so I got the bluff right here behind me where I caught that bass at. Um, that's the biggest one I've got this year. So I'm gonna take a second to just talk about what exactly is going on and why I just now all of a sudden was able to catch a couple nice fish. It's in the afternoon. Um, water's been kind of getting warmed up all day by this warmer wind and it keeps blowing in over here on this bluff and stirring that up and so those little sections where there's like some rubble and any kind of ledge that's there is where those bass are moving up to and they weren't there this morning. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go and try to continue to move along that pattern and see if I can catch some more. This window, it's been a pain for me to navigate in and fight it with the trolling motor all day, but it definitely is firing up these fish late and uh, helping the bite out significantly. So we're gonna get back out there. Um, probably just do a lot more bass fishing now that I kind of figured out that's what's going on and uh we'll we'll work on the crappie another time so let's get out there and keep the grind going Fish on. Big one. Big one. Oh, don't come off. Oh, she came off. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. That's disappointing. I don't know if that was bigger than the last one I just had or not, but it felt about like the same size. There's a, there is, oh, it's a drum. My goodness, could you eat the wiggle wart any more than that, bud? Got it all the way down your gut. These things are known for hitting these wiggle warts with me. I've had a lot of uh, 
accidental drum catches in my day. You'll run into that if you're doing this. Big fish. No, nope. just hit it really hard, but not slack of my line. You followed that out a ways. I love it when they bite this thing. It just, you're feeling every vibration in the rod and through your hands and in the line, and then it just stops. It just feels like mush, and then it just loads up the rod. It's one of my favorite ways to get bass this time of year, or any time of year, is by cranking. Barely hooked them. Skin hooked on the outside again. Makes it easy for an unhook, but man, this one is a. Uh, probably about a pound again it's about like that first one i caught he's a 13 and a half inch bass I'll get it right on back in the water see you buddy Nice little bass. I just want to apologize again for the wind because I know it's crazy over here. It's hard for me to even cast. See you, buddy. There I come. Fish on. Little, little fish. Little fish. But they're still over here, a couple males. Cannot complain with numbers I'm getting anyway. Just push the size of those two a little bigger. There's one. Got a little guy. There's a fish. Oh, how am I missing that? I know that was a hit. There, oh, oh my gosh, that's what's hitting me? Or bluegill. I think that's my first bluegill on a wiggle ward ever. Wow. Okay. They can't even get their mouth around it. That's going to do it for us here today. There's a storm coming in. I got to get out of here for, and uh, the fishing's been pretty good. I would stay longer if I could, but uh, I got to get off before there's thunder and lightning and that gets unsafe. So. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel in the future. And we'll catch you on the next one.